hello guys welcome back to tutor and and guys i hope you are doing well so guys in this video we are going to learn how we can use tailwind css in our react app or how you can configure react app to use tailwind css to style our website or react app so guys the main motive of this video is to create a react app and integrate tailwind css or configure tailwind css so that we can use tailwind css in our development and production very very easily and quickly without any hassle so for this video i'm going to use a reference from tailwindcss.com so guys if you also want to see the reference i'm going to give the link in description you can check it from there and so guys our first step will be to create a brand new react app and and i hope you all know how to create a react app because if you're watching this video i assume that you know something about react to create a react app in this video i'm going to use the command given in this guide and i'm going to replace the my project with my project name and guys i'm going to open my folder in vs code and and guys i'm going to copy this command from here which is npx create react app and the post fix next so that we are up to date with the newest version of the create react app so guys, i'm going to copy this and open our vs code and i'm going to open the terminal and paste the command here and i'm going to replace my project with my with my own project name tailwind react and after some time our project will be created and here we have to give the confirmation why so guys as you can see here our react app is being created and we have to wait for some time so guys, if you can see here our tailwind react react application has been created successfully so so our next step will be to navigate to this project and to do so i'm going to use cd and the name of our project So if you can see here I am in the root directory of my project now and I am going to run some commands here to integrate Tailwind CSS in our project. To install Tailwind CSS in our react app you can see the command here. We don't need to worry about that just copy it and paste in the terminal again. And press enter. and this command also successfully ran so our next step is to run the next command which is given here that is npx tailwind css init p which is going to create tailwind config file and and post css config file that is tailwind.config.js post css.config.js so we're going to paste this command again and if you can see here two files have been created and the files are postcss.config.js and tailwind.config.js and these are the configuration files for tailwind css so guys our next step or the third step is to configure the template paths so that our react components can use the tailwind css from anywhere so we're going to configure tailwind css and tailwind dot config dot js file is the file which we have to look at and we have to copy this code from here and replace the code in the config file in the tailwind dot config dot js and you can see our content we have to replace it with the code which have been copied so it is okay now i'm going to save it and we are going to follow the next step and the next step is to and guys the next step is to add tailwind directive to our css and guys our default css file in our react app is index.css which is in our src folder so to use tailwind css we are going to paste those three lines which is given in the guide and we are going to paste this code onto the top of this file 
and we are going to save it and guys this will give you some warning but you can totally skip that and ignore that so guys our next step is to start our project and see the result in our browser and after that we will use some Tailwind CSS classes to see if the Tailwind CSS is working in our project or not and first of all let's run our project and to run our project you know the command that is npm run start or simply npm start and this will run our project in our browser and we can see our app in our browser so our next step is to use some Tailwind CSS classes to see the difference or to see the effect of Tailwind CSS to confirm that if the Tailwind CSS has been configured in our React app or not and we are going to simply copy this code from the guide and paste it in the project in our app.js and save it and guys you can see there our code has been changed and our result has been updated in the browser to see the effect of Tailwind CSS on our project we are going to put our window side by side and now guys we are going to change something in here let's change this text 3 xl class of the Tailwind CSS to text xl and see the effect in our browser and as you can see the text size has been decreased and we are going to remove the bold font bold from here and again here we are going to replace the text excel to text for excel and as you can see here the changes are updating in real time in the browser so so we can finally say that Tailwind CSS is working in our react app now and and guys that's all for this video hope to see you next video till then stay healthy keep coding and subscribe to twitter and for more videos like this in future